like you ever felt. Are you listening? City High School and welcome to a very special edition of RCTV here at Huntington Beach in sunny California. I'm Noah Welch and I'm Jared Reardon. This week we've been competing at a very special competition called STN, Student Television Network. Here's Kyle Johnson for more info. Thanks Jared. I competed in a short story and the topic of our short story was just one day. We were given two minutes to make a film over that topic. Here it is. Breaking news. Pop star Jessica Jessica is going to spend just one day with the contest winner. But what we're wondering is, is he a loser? Let's find out. Oh my god, is that Jessica oh Jessica? God. Jessica Jessica! I can rotate my head 180 degrees because I was raised by a pack of owls. I also soaked myself in cat pheromones waiting for this moment because I read on the internet it attracts beautiful women. No, uh, Would you like a tissue? No! Help me What are you doing? Eating leaves. You do that too? Me too. My dermatologist told me it was great for my complexion. <laughs> Papa Al told me it keeps the scary birds away. You're kidding. No. <laughs> Are you hungry? I guess, a little. Choco taco? I kiss like a Komodo dragon, by the way. That's okay. Well, that's the end of the day. Thanks for participating. Can I get some Germex? talk show category, we had eight hours to film and edit an unscripted talk show. Our topic is women in media, and here it is. Another sunny day in California. It's Anytime Anaheim. He's there, he's here, he's everywhere you want to be. Here's your host of Anytime Anaheim, Noah Welch. Hello and welcome to another edition of Anytime Anaheim, the only show that takes you on the go. I'm your host, Noah Welch, alongside my co-host, Kyle Johnson. And yeah, we, we've got a great show tonight, folks. The theme for tonight is influential women in media. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're going to tell you. First off, we have award-winning filmmaker Shelby Dorshow coming in to talk about a documentary that she's actually making right now for the STN Nationals competition. Then after that, we have a brand new edition of Taxi Trivia, hosted by Kyle Johnson. This guy's a goofball, look at him. <laughs> and uh, we actually might have a little bit of uh, hidden talent, maybe if you guys are up for that. But, uh, but first, we have a little bit of a funny clip for you. As many of you guys know, yesterday was my birthday, and so because of that, my mom actually flew in and uh, they decided to, uh, well, I'll just, I'll just let you see for yourself. Roll the clip. Noah! 
Surprise! <laughs> Hello! What are you doing here? I wanted to come up and celebrate your birthday. That's it? Well, I had another idea. What's that? Well, how's the show going? You know, it's going pretty well. Good. Well, I'm thinking I have these pictures. And okay. I thought since it's your birthday, Noah, okay. that you could recreate some of these baby pictures. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, that'd be very fun. Sure. Now let me show you. First of all, Noah Thomas, this place is a mess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, being a celebrity, things get messy. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Well, I taught you better than this. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Now look at these. What do you think of this first one? Oh. See? Yeah, yeah, we Look, can do that. You could recreate these. Yeah, we can do that. And then you could show them tonight on the show. It's a great idea. What do you think? I like it. Okay. Good. Yay! It's so good to see you. I'm so glad I'm here. All right. Let's get busy. <laughs> Welcome back to Anytime Anaheim. Our next guest is actually on location right now filming a documentary. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the one, the only, Shelby Door Show. Nice to see you. It has, nice to see you. Oh, so Shelby, what's this uh, documentary you're making right now? Well, I'm here at the Student Television Network National Convention and I have eight hours to write, film, edit, produce, the whole kitchen sink, a documentary film. Wow. That's, Eight hours. That seems like a lot of work. It's going to be. I haven't started yet, but I'm about to, and I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I hope everything goes well. That's great. That's great. So I actually hear that you're coming fresh off of two wins at the state level competition for, uh, for a documentary film. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about that? Of course. Well, back in the fall and in the summer, I made two short... Uh, sorry, you you're fine. You're fine. Well, actually, back in the fall, I made two short documentaries, one mm -hmm. about theater arts and one about speech and debate. I entered them into my the biggest high school film festival in my state, and uh, I went all the way from a few hundred films, and those two films made it to the top wow. six. Wow. Get out. That's incredible. So, went down to Austin, Texas, traveled down one day, went to the festival, mm -hmm. and I got second place for the theater one. Wow. State champion runner-up. I lost awesome. to a guy. I, I lost to him, but a guy who died, so I'm actually pretty okay with it. Oh, gotta be understanding. Oof. Yeah, it's a little yeah. tragic. But I actually hear that you have a secret talent, Kyle. How do you know? We hear that you play a little bit of the ukulele. Yeah. Go ahead and for our too. audience. Play us a little song. This is just a little one I wrote in my sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, Shelby Door Show, Thank give it up for, for it. Yes, great to have you, great to have you. I gotta go Thanks film now, this is due in like three hours, so I'll see you later. Alright, when we get back, we'll have our very own edition of Car Trivia. Alright, and welcome back. Uh, coming up next, Kyle, like I mentioned earlier, is actually going off to shoot his very own Taxi Trivia, which if you're unfamiliar with the game, it's where... Kyle picks up some unsuspecting taxi customers and has them do trivia questions. I roll the clip. All right, we're in the taxi right now. We're about to pick up our first customer. We're going to ask her some questions about women and media. Let's see what happens. Hi, welcome to Taxi Trivia. This is Andy Tom Anaheim with your co-host Kyle Johnson. Are you ready to play Taxi Trivia? What's your name? Uh, Anyways, let's get started with this first question. What Anaheim native and singer sent the world bananas by joining the hit show The Voice of the Judge? Uh, Gwen Stefani. That's correct. Great job. Our second question today is, who was the first woman to own and produce her own talk show? She's very popular. Very correct. Great job. All right, our next question today is, 
Who is the director of the upcoming film Wonder Woman? Um, Nancy Johnson. Ooh, that is incorrect. It's actually Patty Jenkins. All right, and our final question today is, who was the first woman to become a broadcast anchor? Oh, I know that one. Barbara Walters. Very nice. Congratulations. You won a free car. No, I'm just kidding. You won a trip for free. What trip? Uh, the trip to your destination. That's been Taxi Trivia with Kyle Johnson. Back to you, Noah. Boy, I sure am surprised those girls actually knew their trivia. All right, well, if I look at the time, I... All right, I guess that's all the time we have for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you guys stay safe and have a great day. My competition was sports highlights, where STN provided footage for me to do the commentary of a football game. Here it is. The undefeated Norcross Blue Devils took on the 4-3 Lakeside Vikings on Friday night's conference matchup of Norcross's homecoming. Let's see some Friday night football. First drive for Norcross, quarterback senior Baron Bradcliffe throws an interception on a screenplay, giving the ball to the Vikings, but the Blue Devils' defense kept the game at double zero with a missed field goal. The Vikings' offense began their job adding a couple of touchdowns to the board by junior receiver Holloman Jr. and senior receiver Tamire Jones going from 0 to 14 real quick. Another great Norcross defensive play right here. Let's listen in. Oh, Norcross, Georgia. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Norcross began taking over in the second half with another touchdown under pressure by Radcliffe, putting this one to bed 42 to 10. Blue Devils are now 7 and 0 overall. For STN Sports, I'm Cameron Worthy reporting. This year, Lindsay Miller and I competed in the movie trailer category, which set us up against 60 different schools and we won third place. So here's an undercover look at our trailer, Incognito. What exactly is he? He's a freak, I can tell you that much. He's not a freak. He doesn't even have any control over his powers yet. Some days he just wakes up as a different person. It's as if he stops time. I don't understand any of this either. He has no control over this, and you chasing after him is only going to make things worse. I don't even know who I am anymore. I wake up on one person, I wake up on another, I touch somebody, I turn into them. I don't know what's wrong with me. I may not have full controls on my powers yet, but I know that if they keep coming for me, oh, I'm just getting started. we were given the topic an inside look. We had eight hours to film and edit, and I actually turned my video in with only one minute to spare. So please enjoy time and inside look. Everybody wants to know what time it is. Everybody needs to know what time it is. You have to be somewhere at a certain time. You have to leave at a certain time. A person now knows what time it is even more earlier in life than ever. I bet you every single one of you people have cell phones mm -hmm. and they all have the time on it mm -hmm. and you just rely on that. You don't even think that it might be wrong. This kind of occupation probably will always be out there. In a quaint shopping center in Cypress, California, you'll find a place where time never stands still. In 1937, my dad I decided to become a watchmaker in England. In 75, we moved on to this street, and I've been here ever since. And my dad just passed away four years ago after uh, um, working at this shop uh, continuously till he was 92. I met Gary in junior high school, seventh grade, 45 years ago, and we've been friends ever since. In the early days, uh, clocks only had an hour hand. They didn't have a minute hand. So when somebody said be there at eight, you had an hour to get there. Each person in this business has a passion to make sure clocks and timepieces remain in perfect working condition. Day to day, I, I fix clocks like what I'm doing right now. There's a clock over there that I 
took the works out of. It's on my bench. It's almost all apart. And now it gets, it goes in a cleaning machine. What I do is a, a battery clock, um, which is simply a movement change, like this clock down here. Um, it's a battery change, and I just put a new movement in them. I also do the uh, cuckoos. The shop has had many interesting clients throughout the years, including Elvis's former wife, Priscilla Presley. Uh, several years ago, I got a phone call, um, and they wondered if I would do a house call in Beverly Hills. And that intrigued me in itself, but I obviously said yes. And I realized once I got into this house that this wasn't just an ordinary person's house, it was somebody that was famous and uh, come to find out it was Priscilla Presley's house, so it was kind of interesting. And I, uh, I took back to the shop um, three or four of her clocks, which I repaired, and when I delivered the clocks back to the house, she was there, so I got to meet her. While most of us take time for granted, Gary Owen knows how precious time can be. So, uh, I convinced my dad to open up a shop so uh, uh, that's what we did. I convinced him and we opened a shop and it was a struggle, but I think it was worth it. Maybe there won't be like a craftsman like me, but there will always be somebody that has to figure out what time it is. I can't see where we would not want to know what time it is. As you speed by, the small little shop in Cypress, California. Gary Owen wants you to remember one thing. Time is a precious commodity. Brian Everett, Jenna Patterson, and I entered the commercial category. We had six hours to film and edit, and we were given a product. Here it is. Presenting the new x Big U-Shot Telescope Pole. This instrument includes the neat feature of a fourth of an inch universal screw, which fits just about any camera your heart desires. The big U-Shot is also extendable, going from seven inches to one and a half feet. This tool is great for vlogging, concerts, traveling, and anything in between. Get yours today at xstories.com. So for convention recap, I had one day to film, and I actually had only one night to edit. I stayed up till 4.30 editing this video, so I really hope you enjoyed it. STN, to me, is just a hub of creative people. We have a different opportunities, and everybody can tell their story in a different way. Um, kids from all over, well, it used to be the country, now it's the world. They compete in categories like film and broadcast, we are visual storytellers, and that change starts right now. Are you with me? Yeah. STN is good because it will give me experience. I didn't really have much experience before coming here. I think STN will help me a lot in the future because it allows for networking now instead of like when you go to college. Through these contests and workshops, you learn the importance of accuracy, deadlines, and teamwork, which are the staples of journalism. More than just uh, like actually creating, I think like the relationships that you build with people. I think even though it's only my first year, I can tell that there's just this really strong sense of coming together. And this scene has taught me a lot about the importance of the little things. Whether you're a filmmaker or a journalist, we all share a passion for short storytelling. It's not just for uh, broadcast students, it's also for film production students. People are actually willing to go out of their way to find that great story. STN is really good about introducing you to new experiences, so you kind of have an idea of what it's like to be an actual filmmaker. Besides the convention, we took time to have fun at Universal Studios and Huntington Beach. Let's take a look.
joined us on this very special edition of RCTV. And thank you for all your support while we've been at contest. We'll see you next week at Roy City. For RCTV, this has been Noah Welch and Jared Reardon signing off. But first, we gotta go swimming.